Imagine your child is seriously ill. We were told that she would not be able to have a four-chamber heart. Now imagine the doctor who can help is 3,000 miles away. This was her fourth heart surgery. Sue and Dan Hartung traveled from Tacoma, Washington to have seven-year-old Mary's heart repaired at Boston's Children's Hospital. The operation was a success, but it's been a long three weeks. You get, you get worn out after, you know, so much time, just the continual stress at the hospital, it, it wears. But what takes the edge off at the end of the day is a warm welcome in Leslie and Bill Patton's comfortable home. Come on in. The Pattons of Brookline belong to Hospitality Homes, a network of hosts who provide a place to sleep to families coming to Boston for medical care. It's just a wonderful experience for, for us as well as the families that visit with us. Which bed would you like to sleep in? Where would yeah. you like to sleep, Mary? Any family in Brookline, Boston, Cambridge, Newton, any town accessible to a hospital can host as often or as little as they want. It gives you a, just a more of a feeling of being back at home when you're, when you're gone from your own home for so long. And it lifts a huge financial burden. Even special medical rates at a Boston hotel are around $150 a night. You know, we would have had 20 days almost in, in a times 150 a night. I mean, uh, that's a lot of money. It's pretty incredible when you think that people just do open their house to complete strangers. Not so incredible to the Pattons, who will tell you it's easy to make a big difference. It's rewarding for us. You know, whenever you give, you always get something in return. Another great thing about Hospitality Homes, Ted, as you know, is that it's not just for uh, certain diseases like cancer or heart patients or for a certain hospital for that matter. It's for anyone uh, who needs that kind of care. The patents alone, too, people come from all over the world for right. this. The patents have had people from Syria and Israel and Brazil and Nepal all it's over incredible. the world. It's incredible that they open their homes to those people. You know, too, Anthony, one of the most poignant of the patents anecdotes, a coal miner from West Virginia right. bringing his eight-year-old daughter up here in his pickup truck for heart surgery at Children's Hospital, never been up north, never been to a big city, thought he would sleep in his truck, and he ended up telling the patents again and again and again, I can't believe you let me use a spare room like I was an old friend. Nice yeah. stuff. Great program. The story of a selfless sabbatical. That's when Chronicle continues.